Well, tonight we are hearing from the family of Jake Embert, a Darty County man who was murdered in 2014 and a grand jury ruled by his wife. We thank you for joining us at six. I'm Carla Heath Sands and I'm Quillen Parker. That woman, Susan Embert, was released from jail today. A judge overturned her murder conviction, ruling her right to a speedy trial was violated. WALB News 10's Lena Allen spoke with Jake Embert's daughter, who still hopes her family gets justice. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, family. Thank you, attorney. Susan Embert walked free from the Doherty County Jail after being behind bars for 10 years. In 2019, she was found guilty of malice murder in her husband, Jake Embert's death. His death was initially ruled a suicide but his family hired a private investigator to uncover the truth. We knew something was going on before we even, before my dad was murdered. During her trial, prosecutors made the case that Susan staged her husband's murder to make it look like a suicide. They believed she had tried to poison him before that. She was arrested in February of 2015. In Judge Lockett's dismissal, he says Susan's trial counsel is responsible for a three and a half year delay in her trial. He also states that, quote, the more than nine year delay here, running from the time of Embert's arrest to present, counsels towards a finding of substantial presumptive prejudice, end quote. She's maintained her innocence. I mean, this case has been incredibly, incredibly difficult on her, her family. But Jake's daughter tells me the dismissal feels like 10 years of justice gone down the drain. We respect the courts, but we respectfully disagree with Lockett's decision. Rachel Embert says she remembers her dad as a humorous and kind person. At the age of 18, Jake Embert joined the U.S. Army and served almost 30 years. Around the time of his death, he was still working at the Albany Marine Corps Logistics Base. I never forget him. It's a daily thing. You know, I just, I wish that he was here. Justice will be served, whether it's in this lifetime or beyond. Now, Rachel Embert tells me that she's spoken with the Doherty County District Attorney, who is assuring her they plan to file an appeal. The state has 30 days to file that appeal from when the dismissal motion was filed. We'll continue to keep you updated on this case as we learn more. Lena Allen, WALB, your hometown news source.